Welcome back to our channel everyone. Today we have this 2012 BMW 535i X-Drive and as the title shows we're going to be showing you the step by step on how to remove and replace the headlight. One of the most common issues on uh, the F10 body is the uh, condensation that gets collected inside the headlight and that's due to the low quality or poor quality seals they put around the headlight. Uh, luckily there is a lot of aftermarket parts where there is repair kits in this scenario that would require you removing the lens, upgrading the seals and sound it back again. Uh, in this video we just got uh, a new headlight, uh, we got new modules as well because uh, with the condensation that gets inside I'm pretty sure some of the LED modules or the uh, uh, Xenon uh, modules and the T, uh, TMS module got corroded so we're just going to go ahead and replace the entire thing with the modules. So first step we're going to need to do is to remove the bumper. I'm going to put the link in the description below for another video that will show you the step by step on how to remove the front bumper and then once you watch that you can go ahead and pick right up from here. Stay tuned. Alright so here we are in the trunk. Uh, first step always anytime you're going to remove any electrical connectors is remove the negative terminal or the uh, positive so it's right there now this piece here is broken but if yours is not there's a 10 millimeter uh, not on this side and a 10 millimeter not on the other side so this one right there you can remove those to be able to lift up the uh, cover for the trunk and then your battery is right there we're gonna go ahead and... there we go with that it is completely removed uh, I'm just, I just went ahead and dropped it in the bottom. You can grab a cloth and cover it and pour it on top of it. Make sure it's not going to connect. Uh, make sure you keep your trunk open or uh, you can go ahead and put a cloth or a towel right here on the, uh, where the latch sits to lock it and make sure like, you know, nobody actually uh, close it down. So after... All right, if you're watching this, you have probably already watched my other video on how to remove the bumper or you have already done this before and you just want to figure out how to remove uh, the headlight. Uh, our headlights usually are uh, held on by four T30 screws, I believe. Uh, the first one you can see right over here. We ha have to get to it from the back and we have another one right here and we have two in the bottom. So first I'm going to go ahead and remove the uh, clips, the whole the plastic panel. Uh, I don't know if you can see it, but there is one right here. I'm not gonna move the entire panel because it's we don't really have to. Uh, if you want to, you can. There is another one over here, close to the fender, on top of the headlight. And there is another one right here. Mm -hmm. You can see them, they're really right there, like they're not covered or anything. Okay, I just removed these three clips over here. I'm gonna put them on the side. And with that, we should be able to raise this up uh somehow a little bit i'm gonna go ahead and remove the last uh, another one right here as well so i'm gonna move the one right over there as well i don't know if you can see it or not but it's the, this one right here that way it will give us like more space to work on more freely so we remove four clips total if we're doing this for the passenger side it is the same process obviously uh, so let me just go ahead and get the camera over here perfect and as you can see now we have the access to those bolts uh, or to those screws. I'm gonna bring a screwdriver or something just to hold this in place. Uh, let's see if we can do this. There we go. Perfect. Now I'm gonna go ahead and grab my uh, ratchet with a T30 socket. First, let's make sure it's a T30. I'm pretty sure it is. Okay, so my ratchet is not going to actually fit, my power ratchet, so I'm going to go ahead and grab my uh, water ratchet and I'm going to go ahead and move the first bolt over here. The connector for it is in the back, the connector is going to be the last thing we remove uh, or if you have removed the fender liner, you should be able to access it and remove it. Now these T30 screws, they should be, they should look the same as the one that held on the bumper up top, so like right here. Uh, but let me go ahead and remove this. This is the first one. Perfect. That's the first uh, T30 screw. The second one is right here. If you can see it, let me see if I can get the camera in a better angle. It's that one right there. This one right here. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and use my ratchet as well. I think this is, oh yeah, this is a smaller one. I believe that's a T25 or a T20. I'm gonna go ahead and grab both my sockets and uh, double check. 
Let's try T25 first. It's actually, actually might be a T27. What is this here? Oh, it is actually a T30. Uh, the dust made it look smaller. <laughs> but good thing we checked. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and grab my ratchet. Oh, that piece fell. <laughs> Let me go ahead and get that seated again. All right. If you wanna remove the entire panel, you can. Uh, I'm not bending it, I'm not breaking it. This is like, you know, these plastic panels, they are made to be bent a little bit, uh, to be moved out of the way, because sometimes you don't have to remove the entire thing. I would rather just not, personally. So let me just go ahead and remove the screw over here as well. You can use your power ratchet. So I'm gonna go ahead and remove the screw all the way, and I'll show you what we're gonna do next. So stay tuned. All right, so we removed both T30 screws on the top. Now, there is two on the bottom, like I told you, and just to make sure we are on the same page, it's not this one right here. No, it is not. It's actually the one in the back. Uh, this one, that screwdriver is touching. Uh, you access this from the back. You can pull the fender liner a little bit and access it. And the second one is going to be right here. So it's that one right there. So let me go ahead and grab my uh, tools and I'll show you how we're gonna do this. All right, so that's the one on the outer side. So as you can see, I just push the fender with my hand a little bit. That's the first screw over there. And the second one, I'm trying to see how we can access it. So I can show you exactly how we can remove that one. All right, this is the third screw, two on the top, one on the bottom over here. And the last screw is going to be, let me make sure it's right here. All right, so I don't know if you can see my hand or not, or if you can see it, but let me see if I can get the camera in a better angle to show you. All right, so the last screw, I can see it from here. It's actually that one. Let me show you with the flat head. It's that one right there. I'm touching it right now with the, with that one. See, that's my T30. I believe I'm gonna need an extension for my uh, ratchet. So let me go ahead and grab that and I'll show you how we can do this. All right, so I have my power ratchet with an extension over here, or you can use a regular ratchet. Let me go ahead and get back in here to show you how we're gonna remove the last one. It's that one right there. Let me make sure I hold this. There we go. We should be able to reach in there and grab a screw out. All right, so with that, we have removed all, all four screws that holds the actual headlight. Now for the connector, I don't know if you can see it or not, but the connector is right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and get the camera in a better angle and show you how we're gonna do the next step. All right, so now we have removed all four screws that holds on the, uh, holds the actual headlight. Now I'm gonna go ahead and do is I'm just gonna go ahead and pull the headlight a little bit, as you can see. And I'm gonna be able to see the uh, connector for it that's located right here. Let me get the camera in a better angle so I can show you where that connector is and how we will remove it. All right, our connector is actually right there on the bottom. Let me get the angle better on the camera. There we go. Our connector is located right here. It's this harness over here. So I'm gonna go ahead and just like twist it a little bit and it should have a tab on top and a tab on the bottom. Let me go ahead and see if I can get that out. I'm just trying to press it with both hands. There we go. Seems that it's coming off. Oh my God, look at the amount of water over there. Look at that condensation. I'm just hoping uh, we don't have any blown fuse or whatever, but what we'll do is we'll clean that up uh, really well and uh, once it's cleaned up, we have the new headlight. We're gonna plug everything, program the new headlight, and see what was gonna work and what's not gonna work, and uh, follow the uh, harness. But we're not. I'm not gonna dig deep into this video. I just want to show you the steps on how to remove the uh, headlight. For that, if you have any question, uh, if you have a similar issue or like one of the fuses is blown or you installed the new headlight, programmed it, and it did not work. You can actually go ahead and uh, text me and I will tell you exactly uh, what we can do for you. Now, I just want to show you, I just put this headlight down and I want you to look at this. Look at the amount of water. See the water dripping from there? All that water was inside the headlight. No wonder it did not work. <laughs> 
All right, uh, so for the part number for the headlight for this model specifically, that's the part number for the headlight uh, for it. Uh, I believe it's the one that starts with 01031450037 That should be your part number for this headlight. This is the AFS Xenon with LED uh, turn signal headlight. Uh, some cars are halogen, so make sure you always contact your dealer to get the right number and get the right parts. All right, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and get the new headlight ready and I will show you what we're gonna do next. All right, so we got our new headlight in here. Uh, we got all our modules ready and the bulbs and everything. Uh, the first thing we're gonna go ahead and install are the Angel Eyes uh, modules. This is the bottom of the headlight, uh, the, head, the module for the Angel Eyes. This is what it looks like. It has that connector where the connector goes on the side. So I'm gonna go ahead and install the first one. Uh, now as far as part numbers to be honest with you i do not have those uh on me right now but i might be able to get them for you if you are interested in getting the part number message us on uh, instagram or on tiktok make sure you follow us and we'll get you those part numbers uh, even if you don't follow <laughs> i'll still try to uh, help you out uh, as much as i could all right that's the first module we're gonna install the second one is pretty much the same thing Okay, we have the module, that's what it looks like. It has those three screws. I got all the screws from the uh, old headlight. That's the only thing I took from there. And I got the bracket that holds the uh, D1S bulb for the uh, Xenon, for the low beam. Uh, this is the connector for the angel eye. Make sure it aligns. This is what the connector looks like. If you're wondering, it's a put two pin connector. It has that, uh, that step on the side, kinda, to show you how it goes. There we go. You just push it all the way in. That's what it looks like. The tab will hit the uh, bracket on the side, make sure the harness is sitting properly, and then you push it in. There we go. Doesn't have to click necessarily, but if it did, you know it's it's in the good it's in the right spot. Another way, another way you can tell is that you know you can see the screws uh, matching, everything is like in the right spot. I hope you can actually see this. I'm not really sure if you can. Let's see here. Oh, you can't actually see it clearly so let me go ahead and uh, fix the camera angle i hope this fix it up a little bit more try to bring in the headlight as close as possible so you can see it but this is the second uh, module we are installing okay you don't have to hear the power tool thicken i would recommend obviously uh, using an actual uh, ratchet uh, or like a screwdriver t25 that's what these size these uh, screws are that's what the screw looks like i got all these screws from the old headlight i didn't get new ones but i would rather use original screws because they are much more sturdier all right the next thing we're gonna install would be the tms module uh it goes by different name i know on the f15 so the x5 from 14 all the way up until 19 uh they go by the stml or stmr l for left r for right it looks pretty much the same, but it's not the same. Uh, now, before you install this, make sure the one on the old headlight uh, is looks the same. So pull it out, look at it, make sure it has like three connectors. And before you install it on the new headlight, what I would recommend is pull the headlight up, look at it. As you can see, there is the big connector, the medium one and the smaller one. So what I will do is I'll make sure everything is aligned. Uh, it's matching. So I'll go ahead and uh, start putting this slowly. All right, now that's in there, I'm gonna go ahead and push it. Let me show you, and there we go. Now it's pushed. I'm gonna grab my screws. All right. That's the first one. Oops, camera almost fell off. <laughs> All right. Let me get the second one in spot. And I'm gonna use my sure this one is tight as well there we go that's good enough all right so we installed both our uh, angel eyes that one and that one and we installed our uh, tms now we're going to go ahead and install the module the bolas module that sits on the side over here as you can see i'm going to go ahead and grab it this is what the module looks like uh, obviously you can align it by when you look at it there is like uh the three spots for the screws it has a connector with uh, three pins and a five pin if you look here you'll find that one carries six this one carries four 
so obviously it's gonna go like this be very careful when you install this uh, take your time do not like push it all the way without making sure that it's actually sitting properly so I'm looking at it from the sides over here making sure that the connect both connectors are sitting properly and then I'm gonna push it slowly 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 and here we go now it's sitting I'm gonna go ahead and grab my screws it's not sitting all the way because it has that seal and make sure that seal is present because that seal basically is for uh, weather uh, proof if I would say so that way no water or debris or ice or anything will get in there whether you're washing your engine bay or there's a flood or there is uh, a lot of rain or anything like that water can get in the weirdest spots as you saw in the previous uh, parts of this video <laughs> when we were removing the uh, bumper all the all the screws were rusted so I just put the screws a little bit and I'm gonna tie them one a little bit here a little bit there to make sure that it sits properly I do not want it to sit inclined or like in an angle so as you can see this is an aftermarket part honestly the entire headlight and the modules were aftermarket I've tested this myself uh, from my vendor and uh, they last for a long time I use it with a lot of customers even on my personal vehicles uh, if we would go the route with the original the process would be the same but the parts would be much 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 more expensive my customer actually got quoted seventeen thousand dollars for the headlight the modules and everything uh, including the programmation and the initialization uh, anyway now we have our uh, module bolas module both angel eyes module and our tms right there that's what the tms looks like on once it's installed by the way next thing we're gonna go ahead and install our uh, turn signal uh, module so let me go ahead and grab that this is what the turn signal module looks like let me make sure you can see it there we go uh, the connector for it is actually right there and as you can see on the headlight itself the connector is right there it does have two lines if you look at the connector there's two lines over here two lines in the bottom so that way it slides in perfectly make sure everything is aligned i'm gonna go ahead and push this there we go and i don't know if you heard that click but it clicked on my hand so that means it's sitting properly now we're gonna go ahead and install the actual uh, screws for it which i just had over here right there there we go this is our last module. The headlight comes with four modules, two for the angel eyes, one for the turn signal, and uh, one for the uh, Xenon uh, Bolas module. Now, obviously the headlights differ from the halogen model to the Xenon model to the LED model. On the LCI F10, 535, and 528, some of them did come with LED. They call them the SMD, and uh, those are much more brighter, uh, better technology, newer technology, and the process would be similar i'm sure they have uh, i know the halogen uh, only has the tms it does not have any other modules the angel eyes for it are actually halogen so the bulbs you can access them from the bottom or the top if i'm not mistaken and you have your low beam and high beam that's about it the turn signal same thing it's just a bulb you can access on the back of the headlight so the only module you would need is the tms which is this one over here and it's a different module it's not the same one that's for the 535 with the xenon or led uh, headlight uh, again for the modules if you're looking for the modules i would always recommend calling the dealer uh, getting the right part numbers ordering the parts from them and uh, that way you make sure there is no room for error uh, like I said with me, I've done this multiple times on these cars because it's a common issue. All right, now we have all modules one, two, three, and four all installed. The next would be installing the uh, uh, Xenon bulb. So we have our old one. This is what the old one looks like. I was uh, kind of hesitating whether I should use it or not, but uh, I didn't see any water in here. But that doesn't mean there is no water inside. It was working uh, previously. I'm still not going to use it though, but that's the part number for it in case you're wondering. It's a D1S bulb. Uh, if you're going to buy it off of online, just Google a D1S bulb on Amazon or eBay. You'll find it. This is the best brand you could get. Uh, this is the original uh, uh, brand bulb. Now we got our new one over here make sure the connectors are the same even though i know they are if you're doing this i would always recommend there is two pins on the left one pin on the right all together three pins i'm gonna go ahead and grab the bracket i got the bracket from the uh, old headlight and i'm gonna go ahead and we gotta make sure this is actually aligned let me make sure let's see i believe let's just go like that 
I believe this is how this goes. As you, you see how those tabs are aligned? I don't know if I, but that tab over there, that tab over there, and I'm just gonna go ahead and click it. And now it's in position. Mm -hmm. Let me make sure, there we go. Now that tab clicked on it, so this is actually installed properly. Let's go ahead and pour it on the headlight. We wanna make sure we take our time with this. The uh, bulb, be very careful with the bulb. I do not recommend touching it with your fingers. You can wear gloves, but uh, just be careful with it. And let's see here. Okay, so we have two tabs here. So we're gonna install it like this, sideways, and then turn it. Turn it the opposite way. It could be the opposite way. Let's find out to be sure. Taking my time with this, I do not want to force it. Uh, let me go ahead and try again in this direction this time. So if we do it like this, this is the bracket I got from the head, from the old headlight. There we go, perfect. Now it turned. Now I'm gonna go ahead and grab my uh, connector, and voila, everything is sitting properly. I'm gonna go ahead and put the cover back on there. The only thing different between this aftermarket headlight and the original headlight is the access for the uh, uh, high beam uh, bulb, which actually there is a cap over here on top. If you look at the headlight, there's a cap over here that you open on the old headlight and you can access the bulb for the high beam. This one comes with a bulb uh, pre-installed. It supposedly should last you a lifetime. I have not had any negative feedback from my customers that have installed this previously on them. But if we do, we'll go ahead and obviously get that uh, taken care of for them. But with that, this is how we put our headlight uh, back on there properly. So uh, let me go ahead and get my camera in a better angle and I'll show you how we're gonna install this. And uh, as far as the programmation, uh, I do not, obviously, uh, not everybody does have a professional scanner. So if you're doing this, attempting this by yourself, you can, but after, after you install the headlight, make sure you take it to a, a shop that uh, knows how to program, initialize these headlights. So I'm gonna go ahead and put everything back together. It's gonna be the same steps that I uh, took previously. So just retrace your step to install the headlight, headlight back on there. And I'll show you the end result with the headlight working. So stay tuned. All right, as promised, uh, you see the uh, new headlight in. Uh, we did not have to program it. We just had to initialize the uh, turn signal and the uh, angel eyes uh, with the scanner. And uh, that's all we had to do. Thank you for watching everyone. I hope you enjoyed the video and it was helpful to you. Please make sure you like and follow for more.